welcome to uh, this week's I'm talking today about I'm dead to that. Uh, this is the first in our series of messages called Christian Power 201. Uh, in our last series, uh, we were talking about what the Christian faith entails. And uh, now we come to, okay, if you are a Christian now, if you've given your life to Christ, how do you live uh, that Christian life? So let me review a little bit. So in the early chapters of Romans, uh, Paul says in Romans 1 that all of us can know there's a God. All you have to do is look out and see how amazing this universe is. Like Jory and I were walking last night, there's a moon coming up, the sun was going down, just gorgeous. But we reject God, we ignore him, and so crises come through our lives. Uh, then in the second chapter, he says all of us can know there's a God because we all uh, have a human tendency around the world to judge other people, which shows that we recognize the difference between right and wrong. How else could we judge other people? But even though we know right and wrong, we don't do what's right. And so we bring crisis into our lives. And in the third chapter, he says that even religious people uh, who, who have the Old Testament, what he was talking about today, have the New Testament, even though... Uh, we have that, we don't do what's right, and so we bring crisis into our lives. Then in chapter 3, uh, he introduces that great uh, verse, but now, and then he introduces us to God's love, his grace, Christ's death on the cross, uh, God's intervention to our problem of sin. And then in chapter 5, verse 20, another great verse, uh, where sin increased, grace increased all the more. So we sin, problems come into our lives, people around the world sin and the world gets worse, but yet God's grace increases all the more. Now chapter six, uh, we come to the next part of the book of Romans and the question is, okay, if we're Christians now, how do we live as Christians? Do we have, are we just as incapable of keeping the law now with Christ as we were before? Uh, can we overcome sin? Uh, and so we're going to address these questions. So first I want to um, start in Romans chapter 6. So if you have a Bible, uh, read along with me. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. So the question comes, well, if, if, if grace increases, the more sin increases, should we just keep on uh, sinning? So Grace can keep on coming all the more? Paul says, don't be silly. That's a ridiculous question. Of course not. So I want you to turn to somebody, uh, your partner, your group, somebody in your group, and discuss uh, this question. Why do we not want to sin? Should we keep on sinning? Paul says, no. So talk to somebody. All right, so Romans uh, 6, verse uh, 6. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. He says anyone who has died has been set free from sin. What do you think that, those two verses mean? Why don't you turn to your partner and, and discuss that, uh, people in your group. And then when you're done... Go ahead, uh, share from the journal uh, if you've come prepared to do that, uh, uh, and then uh, pray for each other in your group. Hope you have a great time. Thanks.